It's 9.41 a.m. You've just woken up and brewed yourself a cup of coffee. Outside your window, you see the normal bustle of cars honking at a busy intersection, people waiting in clumps to cross the street, either mouthing conversations you can't hear or scrolling through their cell phones. You look up at the sky and see airplanes flying high, weaving in and out of dark clouds. The clock strikes 9.42 a.m., and all of a sudden, for reasons unknown, you and everyone else in the world vanish completely, without a warning and without leaving a trace. The streets outside are now littered with horrific traffic accidents and electrical fires caused by the collisions of newly abandoned cars. Those planes that were flying through the clouds will stay in flight for a few more hours until the fuel runs out and gravity pulls them back down to earth and they land in explosions. There's no one left to call for help, no police sirens in the distance, just smoke, sparks, and electrical fires until eventual total silence. This is what would happen to our natural world if all human beings disappeared suddenly without leaving a trace, all 7.8 billion of us. Throughout the first day of our absence, all of the fossil fuel plants around the world would shut down in rapid succession without humans around to refuel them with coal or oil. If you were to look at Earth from space at the end of the first day of our disappearance, the only two cities that would still have electricity would be Las Vegas and New York. On day two, New York City would lose power and at some time around the 36 hour mark without us, their entire subway system would completely flood due to the loss of manual laborers who pump around 13 million gallons of water out of it every single day. On approximately the 10th day without humans, the planet and everything that is left inhabiting it will be forced to overcome a major environmental problem. The moment that the power goes out on the first or second day without us will create a ticking time bomb for these power plants, as the generators will begin heating up their tanks, causing the water to boil before evaporating completely. This would lead to the generators igniting, causing all 440 power plants to explode pretty much at the same time, subjecting the world to the worst nuclear disaster in human history. But now with us gone, the air is clearing up like it had never had the chance to before. Plants and growing trees will begin sucking up the CO2 we left behind for them, a process that will continue for the next 100,000 years. There is no question that trees, plants, and ocean populations would thrive after we're gone. And so, at first, Thinking about how swiftly Mother Nature would reclaim her Earth after we're gone can feel kind of depressing. But at the same time, thinking about how powerful this planet really is, even despite the tremendous amount of environmental damage we've caused, can be oddly reassuring and maybe even liberating. Realize that this planet we call Earth is so vast, and that human life, and all that we've created, is really just one small part of it.